Hello everyone, this is the first attempt of making a video on how to play SimCity Built It. Uh, I have been playing so far now for 8 weeks. It was difficult in the beginning when I started expanding. Uh, some people gave me some advice and then I also read a bit about and searched the internet and found some information. Uh, and I learned some stuff while playing the game, which I'd like to share with you with, for the purpose of making this game a bit more enjoyable. And uh, I hope you find it usable. So basically this game has a, is a building game, of course, and uh, has a lot of complex uh, things, has different things that you can do. Uh, this is one of the things I like about because if you uh, do many of them uh, then you have something to do you don't get bored but the issue becomes because uh, as soon as many things start popping up, popping up then you realize that you have a lack of simelons which is the second currency starting from top right of the screen and uh, basically the game becomes difficult and many people quit there. Uh, the first trick is to think of what is your next step. You cannot do everything all at once, especially in the beginning. Uh, at this moment, I am doing multiple things, but I, as I said, I have been playing for eight weeks now, so some things have been mastered. I have uh, somewhat a very good daily income of simulants. It's not the best. But uh, my daily income is a, is a 60,000, probably 80,000, it depends, of uh, simulants, and which allows me to do several different tasks. So to reach that, it's, uh, it needs some planning. And uh, where does the planning start? My first tip to you is do not build many buildings. In this, in this area, I've done that mistake myself as you see here I even have level one buildings because I was thinking okay more buildings uh, more people more income and then I realized that the income was not expanding by the number of population so let's say around a hundred thousand people I had over ten thousand uh, simulions daily income from taxes and look at it here now, at 222,000, I have 14,000. So where did the simulions go? What's happening? What is happening is because I have expanded a lot, there is a lot of services like police and fire and etc. Uh, that are getting from that money. So first thing, first tip is... Find a good layout so that you may have the limited, the, the least possible number of these services. And uh, then, of course, try to build up, not try to expand in the area. Try to build up. This is the first advice which will help you preserve simulons and make it more easy. And you'll say, okay, but uh, how do I do? Because I'm missing some items you can do the uh, you can push this button and say new building plans of course it will take a bit of time or you can watch a video uh, usually i don't want to pay money for games i pay a bit of money but only if i see it worth it and i i do so for the reason that okay the people who created the, the games need to have a sort of income to keep all the servers on going. Uh, at the same time, I would want to say that uh, SimCity Build It has many pop-ups which encourage you to buy Sim Cash, and honestly, the prices are horrible. So, I'll be honest with you, the only thing that I have bought is the Season Pass because I liked many of the items here at the bottom and it was about seven euros. So I think seven euros in, some, in a few months, 
I can make it and uh, it's worth paying and saying thank you to EA for the game. But other than that, all this cash, it's very expensive. So if you want to use money, then probably this video is not for you. I'm trying to tell you how to use least money or maybe no money at all. So that was the first tip, the layout. The second tip has to do with your storage. CD storage is, I think, maybe sometimes even more important than CD melons because the more CD storage you have, the more you can do with the game. Uh, you can store many different things, uh, which of course will be usable and useful, and uh, it will be easy to do the things you want to do. Of course, if you have them at hand, it will be easier for you. As you can see, my CD storage right now is of 330 plus 40 storage from the boost from the season pack. And if I want to increase capacity, I need to provide 15 units of each camera locks and bars, which is 45 in total. And if you use SIM cache buying 45 items, like around 20, what's it gonna be? It's gonna be like 800 SIM cache to buy all. And that's a lot of SIM cache. As you can see, I have some SIM cache, which I won from the season pass. I was able to reach the last tier, which is good. And I have been able to get some SIM cache from the uh, contest of mayors. Last week was the first time in Megalopolis for me. I played sixth, so I took 500. This week I am second, probably not gonna run for first. I have three more tickets, but no, I'm not going to use them. Probably I'll lose anyway. So, uh, second tip is city storage. In the past eight weeks, I have been able to build, uh, I think, in the beginning, two times a day, upgrade the city storage. And in the past week, it has been a week or two weeks, it has been one time a day. Uh, of course, this has not been used in SIM cache. I have mostly used SIM coins, but even with that, as you can understand, uh, sorry, as you can understand, uh, having 45 pieces, an average, let's say, of 600 each, uh, because sometimes you find it cheap for 600 SIM coins, that is going to be quite a lot of SIM coins over 25,000 SIM coins so yes uh, CD storage is going to eat a lot of your income so it's important to have income I said I have an income of 60,000 at least which mostly comes from uh, producing stuff as you see all my uh, windows are open queues are full and producing at full capacity makes the game easier to manage. How do you do that? Well, basically, honestly, I played ads as much as I could. I preserve SIM cache as much as I could, and I use SIM cache only to upgrade these uh, producing windows and also to upgrade till the end the trade depot because you need it. It's, it's very nice to have all 32 windows open. So, storage, and actually even, let's say, windows of produ producing and uh, trade depot, let's say this is the second tip how to make the game enjoyable. Uh, the third would be limit your leveling. Right now I'm at level 19. Someone gave me this advice after I had hit level 19, if I knew much better before i'm gonna tell you as soon as you hit level 18 you stop building so basically my idea is i would say and i'm testing this on another account you don't add buildings from here from residential zones but you build them up and you finish with two let's say or three and then after you finish with those three then you can add two or three more uh 
because that requires less services and it will cost less money, it will be more efficient and simple and uh, it will help you with managing your city, keeping the population happy and everything. As you see, this city right now looks a mess a bit. I have a lot of things which I've just placed. I raised my population to over 200,000. I opened the airport, I opened the tower. I have leveled through to level 14. So anyway, we're saying about the third tip is uh, don't level up. And why do I say at level 18? I say at level 18 because uh, then you're going to want to level up or do many stuff when you are playing the contest of mayors. There are a lot of assignments who give, which give you good points to level up, to build your buildings, to upgrade residential zones, because they want you to level up. Because every time you level up, there is more stuff to do, it's more difficult, uh, you will need more SIM cash, you will need more SIM coin, you will need basically more real money to play the game. So that's the push of the game. So don't follow tips of the game, don't follow prompts, but rather stay at level 18 and then try building, not surpassing level 19. I'm at the edge right now because I built some, I need to do some quests for the contest of mayor. And uh, why not go over level 20? Level 20 offers you these two new things to produce, which are ladders and uh, what was this? this is smoothie, yes. And uh, many of the players in my club are telling me they are hard to find on market and they are very hard to produce. I want to believe that. And I am not leveling up before I have done many things. One of the goals, I think there are a few goals to do before you level up above level 19. Uh, one would be upgrade your factories to the best factory. Which actually, I want to do the, these non-pollution factories, which will take me about 350,000 SIM coins. Upgrade the three tower to the maximum. Right now, the last level required 200 SIM coins. There are four more levels, so probably it will take one million more to go to the top. These are goals that are going to take weeks. And of course, the most important goal, city storage. I would want to say there are some different tips about city storage. People say 12 times your level, uh, 15 times your level. Some people are saying to me that it's better if you can expand city storage to the maximum, 600 pieces before you move on, because the game uh, becomes easier. Actually, it has become easier for me to do many tasks having a big storage and allowing me to keep huge uh, number of items. Uh, yes, gives you the opportunity to even to er earn more coin. How? And I purposely left a couple of pop-ups here. As you see, from time to time there are pop-ups of people saying, you know, somebody wants to buy this, somebody wants to buy that. Not all of them are good, like this one, glass sells uh, at 120. It doesn't sell m much, not many people buy it, but at 90 they buy it, which is the base price. But there are some others which say, hey, okay, I want to buy 13 of your glass for more than 120. It's a very bit more, but hey, it's still a bit more. Now, these prompts happen more if you have a lot of the same item. And these happen more often. And uh, what I do from time to time, I keep a, a lot of donuts. Donuts is the highest, the most expensive item I have at the moment. I keep, uh, and usually the offers happen at the maximum of 20 pieces. So the 
AI won't ask you for more than 20. So, but to, for that, you'll have to have probably like 30 or 40 donuts of the same idea. Now, I can have 30 or 40 donuts, no problem, because I have a big storage. That's why it's important to upgrade storage, because that helps to have millions and uh, into the daily income and so on. So, to repeat, layout, less facilities, storage, very important, windows of production, and windows of trade depot, depot. Uh, and do not build residential zones just to generate income, because that is going to go against your desire. Uh, this for now. The other addition how that would help you, now not all people would want to do that, uh, is to have a feeder city there there will be other videos on how to build a feeder city and what would be worth having right now my feeder city and i'm gonna show it my feeder city has 100,000 population and uh, it generates about 12,000 sim coins sim cash daily from taxes it's at level 10 as you can see it has an open blue tower there are benefits to all of these i'll tell you why it has a storage on, on its own of 215 so this helps a lot with the game of the main city but basically it has to be for the purpose of the main city not to play another account so this is it for now if you like this video then i'm gonna attempt to start the channel please subscribe i'll continue doing other videos on how to uh, create your feeder city and how to maximize its potential on of course the contest of mayors now i was first until the metropolis league and uh, now of course megalopolis is much more difficult but still i'm making quite good sim cash which helps me with the game and i believe i have a few tips to show and also in war let me show you a bit of my account on war yeah i was hit a bit but yeah, it's, as you can see, in war, now I'm level 16, but my average score is 24,000 points per war, and even I don't have the best cards. So, usually war supply, I get the price every time. Maybe one or twice I didn't get it. So, a lot of info. I hope you would be interested. If so, please subscribe and enjoy. Thank you for watching. Bye.